Good morning, fans. This is your girl from Mel's Matcha, and this is your official review of Ring of Honor, Supercard of Honor. Now, you're wondering, why wasn't it up at 8 o'clock this morning? I'm exhausted, all right? This week is it was a nightmare for me. Insomnia fucking took the um, wind out of everything. So, what I did was I went to sleep last night. I was going to go do the review and then bang everything out. Couldn't do it. I was exhausted. I needed sleep. Of course, at 2 o'clock in the morning, my fucking bladder wakes me up and then I'm up. So, I ended up watching a um, couple of things and then I watched the Hall of Fame and that was the end of it. I cannot wait till this is over this weekend. I'm, I love WrestleMania weekend, but as a content creator... It's not for the faint of heart. So if you listen to other podcasts or anything like that, you 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 got to understand that we sacrifice sleep and we sacrifice time with our family, sacrifice uh, with our partners and stuff like that. And sacrifice our stomachs because we're fucking drinking coffee or monster or energy drinks up the wazoo. Supercar of Honor was great last night. I was doing duels. I was actually, I watched SmackDown because it is a go home show. And, you know, even though I'm pissed at fucking Vince McMahon, my, I just was curious, curious, kick, kill the cat last night. And, um, fortunately Vince McMahon's back as an employee. I mean, so cancel culture doesn't fucking, uh, uh get to him. Okay. We now know the playing field here, okay? Um, so I ended up watching it. I was just basically listening to it because it was a go-home show. It was nothing really going to be big, but I just wanted to listen to it. So I, on my computer, I had a SmackDown, and on my TV, I had Super Con of Honor because I can pay for it. And I'm not telling you how I, how I watched it, okay? I'm going to let that one, you know, basically... Be my little secret. Um, but um, it was really, really good. And I'm thoroughly impressed. And I watch the week, the week shows. I watch it. I watch it on... Uh, on what do, when, when do I watch it? I don't actually watch it on um, Thursday. I watch it like Friday morning when I'm like doing 50 million other different things in my professional life and in my personal life. I just, I have it on and I watch it and everything like that. I can watch it wherever I want. Uh, it's ring. I have the app. I have, so I'm able to watch it wherever I want. Um, and then you get the ring of honor TV, um, review on Saturday mornings at eight o'clock. I've expanded. So you get to see me twice in one week. I know how special to you. So let's get this party started. This is the review of Supercard of Honor. And we you're going to know what I'm going to be shoot, shooting out tonight, today. Please go check out the people over at Harry's, harrys.com, for all your shaving and toiletry essentials. I'm going away very soon. And, ring, um, and um, Harry's comes in clutch. Seriously, I there my place that I get my toiletries now is gone. They went bankrupt. In fact, it was with Bath and Body Works. It was Harmon uh, uh, Drug Stores. They were like dirt cheap prices. Like I'm talking about cleansers that you would pay through the nose for. Seriously, a buck a piece. I I legitimately was in a wonderland over there. I always usually like to keep. Um, toiletries, the, um, uh, travel toiletries, because I'm constantly not at home. I'm out spending time with my family. I just like to make sure I have a go bag. So I make sure that I have all my toiletries and everything is set up and I'm ready to go. So that place closed up. So I'm now relying on Harry's. They have really good night and day cream. They have eye cream, which are supposed to be for men, but us women can use it too, okay? I use the the shave spray and everything. It's good to go. It's a it's a, it's a one stop shop. I I can't th thank any thank them enough for uh, coming out. And the razors are bomb.com. So I want you to go to uh, Harry's.com and go get all your toiletries and shaving essentials there. 
Now, obviously, I don't have a beard. I mean, I know I have the second chin. I, I, let's just address the whole fucking monkey in the room, okay? I have a, I have a double chin, obviously, because I'm, I know I'm fat. Let's address that monkey in the room. But I don't have a beard, but I know people who do have them. And they use the awesome products of my Astro Classics. They are doing some really good stuff over there, so you should go visit their website, myastroclassics.com. If you want to murder your thirst, your thirst is killing you, and you want to kill, you want to fucking detonate. it, please go check out the people over at Liquid Death at liquiddeath.com. They have flavored sparkling waters, regular waters, um, uh, unflavored seltzers, and now they have iced tea. So go check them out at liquiddeath.com. Now, I just did my Death Wish Coffee um, haul. I just ordered it. And um, I want to check out the Colombian coffee because I've been meaning to do that. I just haven't had the time. I have to also call them to see if I can get just a box of gingerbread because I'm dying to try that out just alone because they have the blueberry and the, the pumpkin and then they have the gingerbread. I just want to try the gingerbread and I don't want to wait till Christmas. So please do me a favor and go uh, check out Death Witch Coffee at DeathWitchCoffee.com. Now, April 21st, if you support independent wrestling, which I do, I support my local one, which is in Queens. It's House of Glory. They're having their next event at, at April 21st. So if you're in the area and you want to go see really good wrestling, go check it out and go get your tickets at HOGWrestling.net and it's called Resurgence. I'm hoping that it's going to be on at Fight TV because I would like to watch that. You know, something on, on in the middle of April. Also, please do me a favor. Go and take your pictures today because it started today. Tomorrow, I need you to upload it to your social media. First and foremost, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. All Mel's Matt Chat. I am verified on Twitter and Instagram now. So, and then also check me out on in, uh, Snapchat and Facebook. What you're going to do is you're going to take a picture of yourself in blue, blue t-shirt, blue sweater, whatever, hoodie, whatever, whatever you have. Take a picture or take a video. Tag me into it. Then with the hashtag World Autism Awareness Day, tag that into it. Because tomorrow is World Autism Awareness Day. I'm going to be wearing blue. I don't need to wear blue all the time. Because I, this house is autistic, autism central here. We It's every day, all day, 24-7 motherfuckers. I'm, a autist, I'm an autistic um, advocate. My son is severely autistic. And I became the voice of the voiceless. I'm his advocate. Now I'm going to take a page out of Paul Heyman. I have been the advocate before advocacy was cool, okay? Sorry, Paul Heyman. I love you. I love you. And I want to get your shirt that says, Paul, I'm a Paul Heyman girl. That is next on my list. Definitely. Yes. You are, how can I say, the grand poobah of, um, of managers, advocates, tribal council, whatever. I, You're the grand poobah. And I lift my hat off to you, but when it comes to advocacy, I'm a, I'm, I'm just a little bit ahead of your time, okay? Just joking, please, people. And I'm very passionate about autis, autism advocacy. Please do me that. Take that picture. Hashtag it World Autism Awareness Day and tag me into it. It would mean the world to me. Please do your research. You've got all month. If you can't get it today, just tag me into it and you're wearing it. And hashtag it. Um, autism, um, April is Autism Awareness Month or Autism Awareness Month. Whatever. If you can't do it tomorrow, you got it out all month. Just so I know that you have been um, paying attention and everything. So, And that is that. <clears throat> we have... Oh. We already have a notification from Ringside News. Let's see what the heck that's doing this morning. Oh, Jesus. 
fucking Tony Khan is fucking wanting to sign Goldberg. No! No, that would be the biggest blunder, Mr. Khan. Please, we don't need that. That scares the shit out of me. All right. Super Card of Honor. We had in the main card the Ring of Honor World Six Man Tag Team Championships. Embassy versus AR Fox, Metalik, and Christian. Ring of Honor Pure Champion Pure Championship. Wheeler Yuta versus Katsori Shibata. Ring of Honor w Women's World Championship. Athena versus Yuka Sakazaki. Reach for the Sky Ladder Match for the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship. Top Flight, The Kingdom, Lucha Brothers, LFI, and Aussie Open. I wish they would have said put like two more teams in it, but after what we got last night, I'm glad they didn't put two, uh, two more teams in it. We had a last-minute match added. Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Daniel Garcia. Triple-A Mega Champion El Hilo del Vikingo, Vikingo versus Commander. Ring of Honor World Television Champion. Ship Samoa Joe versus Mark Briscoe. Ring of Honor World Champ Heavyweight Championship Claudio Castanoli versus Eddie Kingston. I did not do, I didn't really watch the zero hour. I was doing other things. This was what isn't important to me. But there was a note that um, Vincent and I think Gunner showed back up in Ring of Honor. And we now have a new commentator, former NXT UK and Black and Gold. Nigel McGuinness has signed with Ring of Honor to do commentary. And he just, it, it was nice hearing his voice last night. It was felt like, I felt, the only thing that was missing was Mauro and Alo. And if those two were on there, I think I would probably cry in happiness. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's. It's a lot to say that when you want, you hear certain people, it just brings a tear to your tear to your eye, and you know, with what I saw from the Hall of Fame and what news came out of it, which I'll go into with uh, the WrestleMania uh, preview and predictions, which will be at eleven o'clock. Um, I was blown away, and legitimately, I saw fucking one guy's beard. Tony Khan sent his delegation, without a doubt, send the delegation. And if that could happen, maybe that could be the budding of a really good friendship. I know, I'm just, I am shooting fish in a barrel. That's, that's what I'm doing today. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's all I can do at this point. Um, so we, tr uh, we go and we start off with, Mega Champion Commander versus El Helio del Viking Vikingo Vikingo Yeah, that's it's basically you read it. It's Vikingo Vikingo. Yeah, <sighs> Surfboard by Vikingo. As it it took us about five minutes to find the actual stream. I didn't have to worry about finding the stream, so we just here in progress here. Double leg by Vikingo who is, now sits in full guard in and delivers some elbows to Commander. Double drop kicks miss, and we are looking at two men in the Matrix. Fosbury flop by Vikingo, but he catches Commander, and they trade tombstone attempts before flying back in the ring, and Commando, Commander sorry, hits a springboard drop kick. Tope Khan Hero by Commander who now looks to set up a table on the outside. Running 450 off the stage on Vikingo on the floor. Insigiri by Vikingo on the apron and imploding Hurricane Rana off the top. Running double knees to the face by Commander, sending him, sends him through the ropes. Commander gets the knees up as Vikingo comes off the apron with a running shoot, shooting star. Commander walks the ropes and attempts a shooting star, but gets two boots in the face. Frankie Steiner, drive-by Vikingo, gets two. Swinging sit-outside effect by 
by Kingo. By Kingo runs from the ring off the rope to get and gets caught with a power bomb and in midair. One, two, no. Commander now rope to the floor. Outside the Phoenix Splash. One, two, no. Both men on the apron. Now Commander counters a power bomb with a destroyer. Commander walks across the ring ropes to the out to the opposite side and hits a corkscrew plancha to the floor. Holy shit, that was a fucking move. Taker would be proud. Yes, he took old school take it to the next fucking level. Rope walk slow rotating shooting star by Commander gets a long two count. By Kingo meets Commander in the middle of the rope with a destroyer off the top. Vikingo sets the table and connects with a running 630 from the inside on the table, but the table doesn't break. Vikingo misses the, a 630 senton back in the ring. Now, Commander comes off the top with a corkscrew alternating Phoenix splash. One, two, no. Swinging side effect from the top by Vikingo. Running double knees in the corner by Vikingo and the 630 finish 630 finishes this one. Winner and still triple A mega champion El Helio del Vikingo. And was I right with this one? And I was, yes. Match two Ring of Honor Six Man Tag Team Championship, the Embassy versus AR Fox. Blake Christian, and Mela Talik. And if you're wondering who that is, that is Grandma Talik from WWE. Okay? Triple drop kick and drive dives by the challengers to start. Metalik dives, but it's caught by and slammed by Toa. Khan, Khan in for a double team and a two count. The suit... The soon-to-be departed Brian Cage in next who hits some power moves, but AR Fox tags in and an insecurity and a cutter times to to take over. Fox with a tope suicida to the outside on Cage, and mentally follows with him with his own. Sent on by Fox on Cage for a two count. Cage gets an F5 and tags out to Toa, but Christian tags with a flying forearm. Fosbury flop to the outside on Toa. Metalik tags in with a superfly splash. Cage sneaks in with a double clothesline as things break down. Khan and Toa double team Christian and Cage to Cage tries to suplex him in but gets power bombed instead. Metalik tags in and tries a Rana, but Cage power bombs him down. Christian hits Cage with a DV, DDT, but a Toa takes him out. Toa catches Metalik but gets a DDT down. Cage sets up Metalik for a power bomb, but Christian launches a launches for a destroyer on Cage. Toa and Khan throw Christian down. Metalik cages catches Cage with a sunset flip for a close two, but eats a clothesline and a drill claw for the win. Winner still Ring of Honor six-man tag team champions, the embassy, and which I got that wrong because we're thinking that um, Cage is about to leave, and that's why I thought if he was going to leave, he was gonna, they were going to drop the titles and maybe um, the rest of the embassy was going to turn on um, Chris, um, Brian Cage. We're just going to have to keep looking out for him. Ring of Honor World Women's Championship, Athena versus Yuka Sakazaki. I was talking to somebody while I was watching this, and they asked me who's up next. And I said, uh, Athena and Yuka Sakazaki. And she's, he said to me, he says, uh, I didn't know that disease was popular. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm le legitimately laughing my ass off. It was hilarious. We also have a new title to a design for Ring of Honor. Why this thing goes through fucking, I think every year they change it up. I don't know why it's not necessary, but who am I to tell otherwise? 
So both women trade arm drags, and we have an early stalemate. Insegiri by Yuka, and a suicide cannibal dive to the outside. Athena tries to leave, but Yuka grabs her and throws her back in the ring. Yuka misses a missile dropkick off the top, and Athena deliv delivers some vicious ground and pound. Hair whipped to the ground by Athena. Hair whipped by Yuka. And a basement Larry gets a two. Running into Gary by Yuka again. And she heads up top and cartwheel out of the attack by Athena. Athena catches a Hurricane Rana and a power bomb. Yuka and power bombs Yuka twice. Third time is a sit out power bomb that gets a two. Dominator into a double knees by Athena. And that one misses by a mile. Athena still gets the two. Baseball slide sends Yuka to the floor. Wheelbarrow suplex to the floor by Athena. Athena misses another baseball slide and eats a guard rail as Yuka capitalizes with a snowplow on the outside. Yuka sends Athena into the steel steps and comes off the stage with a running fez press. Magic girl splash by Yuka. One, two, no. Rolling elbow by Yuka, and Athena is dropped. Athena responds with an elbow of her own, and both women are down. Athena falls in a cover for a two. Suplexes by, suplex by Yuka for a two. Hammerlock sitting sit out face buster gets a two count. Yuka looks for another magic girl splash, but Athena shoves the referee into her and hits her Hits the O face off the top, which was the um, the Eclipse. Still Ring of Honor World Champion, Women's Champion, Athena, which I actually got right. Yes. <clears throat> we have the ROH World Television Champion, Samoa Joe versus Mark Briscoe. Now, before this happened, he his family's there, this whole this whole uh, pay-per-view was for Jay Briscoe. And I actually wanted Mark to win just because he's, you know, now he's alone. He doesn't have anybody to take out. He's now got to relearn how to wrestle because he's going to be in there for maybe 15, 20 minutes. He doesn't have the luxury of taking a breather on the outside and it's now going to affect him a little bit. And we're going to have to give him a little bit of time to get used to being alone because he's always had his brother. Um, but this was, this was a tear. This was like pull at your heartstrings as a wrestling fan. So we start off the match with the code of honor being in here too. Joe Bales and Stales stalls to start. Lock up proper and Joe overpowers Mark early. Mark counters with some big boots, but eats some chops from the champion. A chop battle ensues. And Mark gets a Spicoli driver, but Joe bails to the outside once more. Mark follows, but Joe beats him down. Down, wait. Mark follows, but Joe beats him down out there and tosses him inside. He maintains control and lands several strikes and a suplex for two. Mark battles back, but falls victim to the corner charge and Insegiri. Mark rolls to the outside and Joe gets a forearm dive out there. Joe grabs a chair, but Mark gets a drop kick and uses the chair for some for a somersault tope to the floor. Mark gets up. Mark sets up a table, but Joe cuts him off and rams him into the ring post. Briscoe with a running blockbuster off the apron through the table. Mark off the top rope with a karate chop and another chop battle begins. Joe headbutts Mark in the corner, but Mark springs off the rope to knock Joe down and both men are out. Yurinagi by Mark gets a two. Jay Driller attempts is countered by Joe and Joe gets a snap power slam for a two. Power bomb by Joe gets a two and he transitions to an STF cross face now, but Mark gets to the ropes as Joe nose is bloodied. Mark fights back with chops of Joe dumps Mark with a back drop driver and a lariat for a two. 
Joe tries to eat, set up a muscle buster, but Mark fights it off and gets a boot in the corner. Froggy Bo hits for a very close two count. Mark try, tries a cutthroat driver, but Joe counters to the rear naked choke. Sleeper suplex, but Joe and Joe gets him in a choke again, and the referee stops to give Joe the win. Well, I wouldn't have bet on that result. Still Ring of Honor World Television Champion Samoa Joe. That was a really good match. And it's, I, I, I've been watching now for what, five or six weeks, five or five weeks, give or take. Um, I'm really impressed with this and I'm glad I'm watching it. You know, now more, now we can get more. Now, when we get to another ring of honor, um, pay-per-view, we will be able to even, there'll be a more of a story and then it won't be as just put it together and that's your, that's your card. So we have match five, Garcia, uh, Daniel Garcia from the JAS versus Hiroshi Tanahashi from New Japan. We start up with a tie up to start back elbow by Tana and a springboard crossbody. Both men fight to the outside. Now, as Garcia throws Tana into the steel steps and Garcia DDTs Tana's leg on the outside. Garcia now focusing on Tana's injury knee, injured knee, looking for the surfboard, actually just a double stomp. Tana fight back, fight, fighting back with body shots and a four, flying forearm off the ropes. Tana still facing the knee, favoring the knee, but lands a body slam and a somersault sent on off the middle rope for a two count. Drop kick to the knee of Tana. I'm going to just say Tanahashi because I can't. I, I, I was writing, typing this. Just to say Tanahashi. It's a lot easier. A single head drop kick to the face. Both men exchange kicks to the, the knees. Now in the middle of the ring, Garcia kicks the knee out from behind and Tanahashi hits the deck. Garcia looks for the dragon tamer, but Ta Tanahashi fights his way to the ropes, and Garcia puts the boots on him. Tanahashi catches a leg of G Garcia and hits a dragon screw leg whip, and I lose. And the winner is Tanahashi. Now let's sit down and let's set a spell because this is going to be a long one run through. Marron. Match six. Reach for the Sky ladder match. Aussie Open, The Kingdom, Lucha Brothers, Top Flight, and LFI. Oh, this is going to be a fucking wing thing of a time. Just bear with me and just, I'm going to slow it down. I'm not going to go really fast as I'm re as I'm reading my notes here. We start off with three teams go for ladders right away. While the kingdom and LFI remain in the ring. Top flight avoids a ladder shot and drop kick the kingdom and drop kick the kingdom out. LFI take control over top flight and set up the ladder in the corner as Roosh hits the bullhorns into top flight. Aussie Open is now to battle with LFI. AO wins with that battle with double team maneuvers. Ladder shot knocks Roosh outside and the Lucha Brothers are in next. Tavern changes, but eats a ladder. The Lucha, the Luchas sandwich AO between ladders and start to climb. They don't get as far as Mark Davis is in, but Felix Phoenix hits him with a 
PK and Penta lands a dive to the outside. LFI is alone in the ring now and hits stereo somersault planches to the outside. The Kingdom sets up a doomsday device to the outside on Darius Martin. Everyone is on the outside and the Kingdom are stacking tables to the stage. Aussie Open gets double pile drivers on, King, on the Kingdom. Aussie Open then sandwiched Dante Martin between the ladders and set up to climb. The Lucha, the Lucha, the Luchas put a top on to that, put a stop to that climb themselves, but LFI stops that and Rouge gets a Mexican destroyer. Poison Rana from Derilistico, Bennett and Rouge trade fists with Bennett busted open until Tavin jumps to take both out. Tavin also bloody takes a suplex onto a ladder. Drillistico climbs, but top flight interrupts and gets a tornado DDT. Drop kick into the chair to the face of Rouge. Aussie open prevented a, prevented a top flight climb and Penta eats a double super kick and Beal onto a bladder. Aussie Open set up a ladder with a bridge to the middle turnbuckle, but Dante gets a springboard drop kick to prevent a climb. Tavin climbs onto the bridge ladder, but eats a Spanish fly from Dante. Bennett climbs, but Dante gets a sunset bomb off the ladder. A.O. Aussie Open cuts off Dante going up the ladder and gets the fidget spinner. Darius takes a spine buster into a ladder on the outside. Drillistico DDTs Davis and climbs the turnbuckles. Fletcher takes a Rana off the apron and rolls into the announce table. Bennett powerbombs Drillistico onto a ladder on the outside and Tavin splashes him through a ladder. Roosh tosses Davis through the, another ladder at ringside. Phoenix climbs with Dante on the other side. The battle at the top of the ladder and Phoenix gets elbows. Sorry. My tablet just decided to crap out on me. I'm sorry. That was weird. Phoenix climbs with Dante on the other side. They battle to the top of the ladder. Phoenix gets an elbow down on a ladder. Penta quickly climbs and walks on the bridge ladder. Destroyer through two tables on Dante, breaking his ankle. And I don't know what's going on with him, but when, uh, when I do my podcast on um, Friday... I will, if I hear any news or I'll do a short to let you know what's going on with him, but I believe his ankle is broken. Tavin and Phoenix on top of the ladder now knocks Tavin into the bridge ladder and grabs the belts for the win. The winners are the Lucha Brothers, uh, Penta El Zero Miano and uh, Penta uh, Ray Phoenix, Ray Phoenix, sorry. We we go we go right into the pure championship. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. Wheeler Yuta with John's Moxley versus Katsuri Katsu. <laughs> Let me try this again. <laughs> I hate Japanese names. It's not I I love you Japanese people. Love you to death. But your names have got to be something to desire for. I think you. I think it was, it's a, like a goal because you know that us you know, uh, Americans will botch up needs all times too. Katsuri Shibata. I'm going to call him Shibata for the now, and it sounds like Sh Sh Shabbos or Shabbat. <laughs> the Jewish 
right now it's still um Shabbos right now or Shabbat for um the Jewish folk out there. So whatever at this point. <sighs> The wrestler, waist lock by Sh 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 Shabbata, who rides Yuta to the ground, hammer lock, and a hip toss by Shabbata. Yuta misses a drop kick, and Shabbata misses a field goal, and we're back at zero. Head scissors by Shabbata, and Yuta bridges out. Figure four leg lock by Shabbata. Yuta has to use his first row break. Shibata with some 12-6 elbows to the shoulder of Yuta, and Yuta bridges out for a two count. Knee drop to the elbow of Shibata, but Yuta, who looks for a short arm scissor, Yuta with a low blow behind the referee's back and a closed fist, which the referee did see, so Yuta is issued a warning. Both men are exchanging brutal chops, but Shibata drops Yuta. Shibata now with some heavy chops in the corner and a running drop kick. Northern Light suplex by Shibata gets a two count. Back suplex by Shibata and Yuta uses a rope break, so that's two. Penalty kick by Shibata now and Yuta is in trouble. Yuta grabs a waist lock, but Shibata pay brushes him with an overhand sleeper by Shibata, and Yuta fades. Penalty kick by Shibata, and this one is over. We have a new Ring of Honor Pure Champion. It's Katsuri Shibata. Jeez Louise, these names are kicking my ass this weekend. Final match of the um, evening. And then I can get you out of here and then I could go eat some breakfast. And then I'll be doing the preview and predictions and it will be posted hopefully by 11 o'clock today. Um, also note, I will not be doing a review of Stand and Deliver. That is going to be on the review of night one of WrestleMania. I am not stopping at four o'clock in the afternoon to do a review and upload it because I'm going to be getting ready for WrestleMania. I'm sorry, people. You can, I can only stretch myself so thin, you know? And I know I could use the weight loss, but still, I can't be doing 50 million things. I got a life here that I have to take care of. And then after that, we can, you know, have a grand old time. We have Claudio Castanoli versus Eddie Kingston for the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship. Eddie, Eddie flips him off to start and charges into the corner, slapping Claudio. Claudio drops Eddie with a hard shot, sending him to the outside. Claudio hits him with a back suplex. Eddie goes to work on the left knee of Claudio, sending him to the outside. A tope suicida is blocked with an uppercut from Claudio. Claudio pounds away with forearms and pulls Eddie through the ropes and suplexes him on the floor in one motion. Swinging attempt is countered by Eddie, but Claudio stakes, shakes looks and gets a top rope headbutt for a two. A slap fight begins, but the champion gets the swing, only, but only manages to manage a few rotations as Claudio sells the knee. Eddie to the top, but the champ knocks him down with a drop kick, but hurts his leg. Again, to the top rope again, and Claudio gets a suplex. Claudio with the kicks to the back of Eddie and a stomp to the face. Eddie grabs the eyes to draw even. Eddie with a clothesline to the outside and a suicide dive. Outside, Eddie gets a T-bone suplex on the floor. 
back in bulldog from the middle rope by the challenger gets a two claudio counters with a suplex and drills eddie with elbows to the face eddie ducks a clothesline and catches a dragon sleeper but the champion gets to the ropes Saido suplex by Eddie gets a two. Claudio gets a German suplex to even things up. Both men stagger to their feet and exchange strikes. Back fist is blocked by Claudio and a big lariat gets a two. Ricola bomb is countered and Eddie gets the back fist for a close two. To the apron now and Claudio gets a gut wrench suplex to the floor on Eddie. Claudio rams the barricade into Eddie multiple times. Charging European uppercut by Claudio gets another close two. Claudio slaps Eddie, but Eddie gets a back fist to stagger the champion. Neutralizer gets only one. European uppercut gets two. Crowd is going nuts at this point. Claudio with a series of strikes and a recoil bomb is counted into a Rana and a pin attempt by Eddie. But Claudio rolls through, gets the win, great finish. Still Ring of Honor champion, Claudio Castanoli. Post-match, Claudio and Yuta go to attack, but out walks Shibata to back off the BCC. So that is that. That is that. Great pay-per-view. It was, uh, you know, one, it was a, just basically done, and it was they put it on. It was done. It was over with. It was great. What is great now is I'm getting out of here for the morning. I'll be back here at 11 a.m. with my preview and predictions of the entire card of WrestleMania in night one and night two. Please do me a favor. If you want to hear the uh, preview and predictions or my picks for Stand and Deliver, please go check out episode 284. Check out all the rest of the content that I have uh, uploaded. Um, preview and predictions of that um and please go check out my youtube channel please like share and subscribe turn on the bell for all notifications so when i upload you'll know about it also please do me a favor go check me out on twitter instagram and tiktok oh, all three of mel's mat chat please go check me out on snapchat and facebook also please go check out harry's at harrys.com for all your shaving and toiletry essentials. Please go check out Maestro Classics at maestroclassics.com for all your beard essentials. Please go check out Liquid Death at liquiddeath.com. Go murder your thirst with Liquid Death. Go check out uh, Death Witch Coffee at deathwitchcoffee.com and drink the most finest dark roast you could possibly find. With the highest caffeine um, content. Also, please do me a favor. Go check out um, HOG Wrestling at HOGWrestling.net. And also, I want you to do me a favor and go check out this other coffee company. And it's empowered by women. It's for the sparrows. So go check them out on their on their website at for the sparrows.ca. And you can find them on um, all the social media. Really good coffee, really good story. Let me quickly read this to you. Because it, it, it is a really good story. It's, it's empowering. Imagine a woman on the streets coping with addiction, homelessness, and trauma-filled past. Feeling alone and without choices. She sells her body to survive. She feels hopeless. One Friday night, as she stands on the side of the road waiting for her next customer. An outreach worker approaches her. She's offered kindness, prayer, and a gift with a card that reads, are you done? She thinks on those words and recognizes she is done. Done being alone, done living with a lifestyle of pain and trauma. She reaches out to take the first step in her healing and recovery journey. Within a short time, she moves into a safe house, safe into safe housing, and attends classes in the day in the day program. She finally has hope. There are people who believe in her. 
for the sparrows empowers her to move towards the life she had, she has dreamed of. She is regaining her identity, dignity, and believes in herself again. Throughout hands-on training, she is learning a tangible job skill for the first time in her life. Roasting sparrows blend coffee is one way she chooses to change her future. The coffee is at hand roasted and labeled by her. And it's from Nicaragua. Light roast for the people who love light roast. Please go check this out. It's a great cause. And my friend Diana sent me this. And I appreciate the lovely gesture. And I can't wait to burn the candle tonight. Because um, she sent me a candle and this chain that, that um, with the emblem of the Calgary hitman. So I'm, I'm raising my cup up to her right now. So go check that out at for the sparrows.ca and for the sparrows, that's the, uh, the, um, handle for social media. So please go. And also, uh, tomorrow, please wear your blue hashtag knit world autism awareness day. And please tag me in it. And, um, cause we start uh, autism awareness month as of today. So tomorrow is the day. Let's do this. Let's blow social media up with all blue. I want everybody to have a great WrestleMania weekend. Great stand and deliver afternoon. I will be back here at 11 AM to give you the preview and predictions and my picks for WrestleMania nights one and two, the entire card. And, um, I'm not tired. I'm praying to God that I can at least get maybe a nap today. Um, we can, um, I could go do the review for night one um, tonight. If not, I have to fit it in sometime tomorrow morning. But have a great rest of your weekend, and I love you all. And I'll see you at 11 for the preview and predictions for the entire card of WrestleMania's 39 nights, one and two. So have a great day. Have a great morning. Sorry. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye-bye.